Oh, this horseman has been stuck for about 50 turns. <laughs> Run away! Actually, we're distracting all their courses. They're coming after my horsemen instead of actually defending their own cities. Okay, if you want to do that, I'm not going to complain. Golden age. Now, if the Congo gets golden, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, they've gone golden. It's just for me, I needed to make sure I had a golden edge. Focus on yourself. That's what I say. Reform the coinage works if you have more than one trade route. I don't. I am... <laughs> economically challenged. Here be dragons would be good if I was actually going to settle on anything that wasn't my continent, but it's the entirety of the map is my continent, seemingly. I don't want a religion. I'm stealing Congo, so monumentality it is. Lovely. Just checking. There is another religion on this map. Oh yeah, Japan's got one. Okay. Well, there could be a bit of a problem here. But hang on. What? Byzantium hasn't got a religion. What is going on with the Byzantium AI? That's like the first thing you get with them. That's strange. That's really odd. Oh, I don't like that. What is? What are they doing? There you go. Musket. Oh, it's eaten all the nitre. It's a little miscalculation that, but I just need more nitre. We're keeping an eye out on other nitre sources. Mainly they're on the right hand side of this continent. One, two, three, four of them. I do need to pop out another settler soon, but I just haven't really got round to it just yet. Oh, look, this city's so much weaker than it was first time we were here. I do have trebuchets as well. I guess that sort of helps, doesn't it? Not bad at all. Japan is willing to give me quite a bit of stuff, actually, for some Diplo favor, including a relic. And I've got the upper done it. That's why they were doing it. So if we can recreate that deal. So it was a Philosopher's Stone and Tale of Genji. All 30 of their gold per turn. How much? Oh, yeah, literally just 110 Diplo favor. I mean, yeah, this stuff is... Uh, why not? I'm selling it. Anyone who wants to buy, I am, I am an open library of Diplo. Diplo favor. I will diplomatically promise you anything you want doing. Oh, my horseman's being chased. No, leave me alone. I'm going to try and escape to sea. Maybe that's my salvation. Maybe. Okay, I am going to leave military science there because it's killing a unit with a knight and I'm just about to get a knight. That means I'll be able to level that up when I'm ready, when I'm ready to push my science through a little bit. So that's looking rather tasty, but oh, military science is going to be such a big upgrade for me. Cavalry, line inventory, a CAD. That's a triple threat that I don't think the Congo is going to have any answers for. Divine Right is also going to get boosted when I get two temples, and I'm just about to steal a bunch of temples. I'm going to go to mercenaries. Yeah, this is a really strange way of looking at war, but it's a very effective one, I feel. Let's just move my Huachas in. They're pretty well defended, and they've got my great general on them as well, so that's perfect. Got courses on the way. My archers, I'm just holding these back just for a couple turns. So I can get half price units. Oh, Leventa. Okay, yeah, Leventa might be a bit of a problem. I'm going to keep my Huacha back there and just shoot anything that comes onto my campus. I do not want them in my land. No, no, no. I am one special chicken. They are not to be trusted. Oh, you see, Magnus. Magnus is available now to be popped into Mbamba when I'm ready. It's better. This is a much better position than we were in last time. I'm going to see if I can cross the and find Byzantium. Oh, my horseman died. It didn't make it to the sea. It didn't do it. No. Hey, it did a good job because it's distracted two courses from invading me onto the front line. And they've only got a... Congo's only got 133 combat strength. There's only so many troops they actually have. So this is really good for us. Okay, we're going to take advantage of the World Congress whilst it is like this. Let's get another courser. I'm just going to cycle through all of my strategics here. Make sure we're getting everything that we need. Oh, there's some good... There's some good wonder choices here. But um, nope, we're going to stick with the World Congress for now. There's another knight. And Victor. Actually, I'm going to steal Victor and keep you for a second. You are definitely needed. And an attack that takes the city. We keep it. Happiness should be fine. Oh, minus 19. Okay. 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 That's, that's excessive. <laughs> It's not excessive. It's totally fair. All right, Victor, you need to make your money's worth quickly. And we we need to earn our paychecks. We cannot hang around here. We have got to do some fighting and killing of this Congo city very quickly. Let's move our siege weapons in. Let's move our courses around. Let's move these units. Okay, this is this is good. We have so many reinforcements compared to how this was in the last war. Like I, I'm feeling a lot better about this situation. What do you mean you haven't got a temple? Come on, get a temple in this city. It's not difficult. Right, I don't need Corvée anymore. What instead I'm going to do is put Governors give two loyalty per turn. Conscription is useful. Feudal Contract is useful, but I'm instead going to pick up Loyalty per turn for cities with a garrisoned unit. It should give me plus four. Yeah, okay, right. So we've just gone from losing this city in six turns to losing it in ten turns. 
That is a lot of extra time. Let's move you onto that tile. Let's get you to just fire and kill that Corsa almost immediately. Look at that. Bam. Oh, these Korean units are just so tough. There's the trebuchet. Let's take a good chunk of the wall down immediately. Let's move my mana arms in. Do another strike. All about momentum now. We've got to just keep attacking quickly. I actually have a bit of spare faith. You know what? You know what? I'll treat myself to a settler. Or maybe even two. So actually you make your way over to this area. I'm going to go and settle near this uh, nitosaur. So I'm going to go and settle near this nitosaur. Good. Right. More nitre means more line inventory. More line inventory means more fun. Also, I think I'm ready for my turn of military science. I reckon I can get a kill with the knight next turn. Must be able to. Must be able to. So what we're going to do, go around, do the old usual boogaloo by moving everyone to campus projects, putting everyone on science focus. Let's just maximize the amount of science per turn that I'm making. Oh, they hit my trebuchet hard. Don't do that. It's mean. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end up sciencing so hard that I don't actually think I'm going to get a kill with the knight. Uh, it's a little, little unoptimized, but hey, I'll take it. Trebuchet hits, Corsa runs round, Siege of City. This Huacha is going to get the attack in a second once I've taken as much of the walls down as I can. Right, here we go. One attack, two attacks. There we go. Walls are down. Next turn. Next turn on that city. Hey, that's good. I like, I'll take that as a result. That's fine. Go on, get into a bit of a fight. Get into a bit of a fight, Leventa. Oh, no, they just ran off. But there is a crossbow that is now out of the city. I really need to put Liang in this city. I really do. Unit's lost. That was one of Kahoki's units. I was like, oh, for a second there, I thought that was my settler. No, 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 no. That's one of Kahoki's units. Good. Okay, phew, that's that's fine. Right, uh, we're up to 142 science per turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. Everything in my district just got pillaged and I do not have the time to wait around. Hey, you know what? Not everything will be optimized all the time and that's okay. That is okay. Let's get this knight in to get the kill. There we go. Military science, divine right, and 284 culture? I think that would be enough to get a renaissance era to, I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. May not be the most entertaining of abilities, but it is very effective. Quite like it, it's very fun. Now, Kehokia, could you do me a favor and back off, please? Thank you so much, two era score. We're, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my era score at the moment. I don't want to let my eye off the ball. We're too late in the game to be having problems with it. I'm just going around and undoing all of the science focuses on my cities. Now, monarchy is a lot of fun. Gives me housing for wars, gives me more city-state envoy points. Let's me put oligarchic legacy back in. But more importantly, it has more slots for stuff. Just general stuff. I like that. I am tempted to pop in... Yeah, let's get professional army in. Oh, and, 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 hang on, where is it? Retinies. Oh, I'm going to put this in instead of my two loyalty per turn card. I, I can get, I can get that fine. That's, that's all good. We're not worried about that at all because I am going to take over this city from Congo. Beautiful. Keep it. How many turns? 16 turns. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. But luckily my, my first city that I've taken is now loyal. So we are getting there. But more importantly, now I believe I have this mana arms that for 205 gold and 10 nitre which i've got the nitre i just need the gold i can upgrade to line inventory which is fun oh next turn next turn i'm looking forward to yeah having more nitre supply in these these new settlers could not have come at a better time for me Bologna. First to meet them, they want to bombard. Oh, this is my sort of city-state. Mahanjadaro wants a campus district. Okay, okay. I think I can do that as well. The city-states are speaking my language now. Very much speaking my language. Uh-oh, that's unfortunate for you. There is a forest fire going on in Kabasa right now. That is causing huge population loss. Very unfortunate for Congo, but not so unfortunate for me because, you know, the more population loss they have, the greater the resistance I have towards all of their delightful loyalty. Line inventory. Oh yeah, 69 strength. <laughs> Nice. Now, Bologna is a brilliant find for me, by the way. Brilliant find for me because plus one science in every building. That's a big one. Every building. <laughs> every library building. I kind of, I'm skipping over the details slightly there. Why suddenly have I just lost all of the science pretend? I, oh yeah, right, it's because I'm not happy anymore. There we go. Figuring it out, figuring things out slowly. Oi, oi, I thought we were chill. We were chill. Oh, fine. Now there's, now there's muskets. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not chill at all. It's the opposite of chill. That's that's anti-chill. Fine. Luckily, I've got a hot check and make its way back. But oh, that, that's that's just not cool. Okay, Kabasa is now sieged. Good, good. I'll start pillaging. We're going to pillage like crazy. Is that Renaissance walls being built? I worry that that is Renaissance walls being built. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. That's not an Ursa approved plan. We might have to do something about that one. Okay, there. Just a single line inventory is decimating the walls. 45 damage. Yeah, okay. As long as we can keep the city sieged, we can take our time here to do as much damage as we want. Just waiting every time we get to 10 Nitre and get a new line inventory and we can just start all over again. There's some cavalry on the way though now. That's very powerful. Emile de Chatelet. Wonderful. Look at that. We've got even more boosts. We'll pick those up in a second. And we've got so now that we've got metal casting i'm actually wondering whether we beeline inventory or chemistry or something like that probably worth it isn't it get ballistics first i mm, can't rush that anytime soon so let's go to mass production make our way to industrialization that that could be fun oh counterattack on this courser is hard look at that 22 25 25 damage they can stack damage well and this is an important unit because this is the one maintaining the siege on kabasa don't worry i had a unit that i could uh, save until this moment let's uh, let's bring my other man arms has been stuck behind the borders for some time now victor i want you to have garrison commander that will stabilize this city and minus three on that city oh do i need to bring in my cards change those around again beetle contract's not very important actually anymore because i've teched beyond it so we'll go chivalry instead yep for now that's absolutely fine we've got a good set of policies i think now that we've got guilds let's go for diplomatic service i need to get cores as quickly as i can but uh oh yeah more trebuchets more trebuchets more units lovely what boosts is emil going to give us ballistics steam power industrialization those are three very good ones okay you know what i'm gonna get curacao's quickly just because they're so good counterattack continues as long as they split their attacks against different units we're okay Japan, do you want to get involved in this war yet? Oh, why don't they want to get involved in the war? It's boring. New city, new furs. Look at this, perfect stuff. Most important thing the city can do is get this nighter hooked up to my empire as quickly as possible. Medieval fairs boosted. My horseman slowly making its way over to the other continent. Very slowly. But it's good. It's good that we seem to be having a little bit more success in this war than we used to. Oh, that Huacha did take a bit of a beating though. Bit of science pillaging. Very good indeed. This Huacha's back in action. Kaba oh yeah, look at that. We're doing some good damage against Kapasa now. I reckon it won't be too many turns until that city finally falls to us. Cavalry! The cavalry arrives. Excellent. Right, we're going to get one attack there. I'm going to get my line inventory to... Bam! Walls are down. Perfect. Science pillage. That means that we've got one attack there. I can pillage and then give myself barding. And then the cavalry comes in and takes Kabasa. The capital falls. Okie dokie. Our war. Our war has finally worked. Just sticking to the science fundamentals. Taking our time to get a big, big army. It worked out. How's the loyalty doing now? Plus 12. Plus 11. And minus 11. Okay, right. I'm going to move over Magnus first. Because Victor's still giving the plus 4. But that. Oh, that's so much better. Better. look at all this now we take over this nine population city i've already dismantled this encampment which is wonderful there's another line inventory i am very much hoping that this particular attack has now been broken we've broken the back of it we're going to charge our units forward we should be laughing now surely look i've got a bunch of knights i was hoping these would upgrade to curacao's before they were finished but never mind now foreign ministry i am tempted to think that the foreign ministry is worth it because i have a lot of city-state friends and i'm unlikely to let them go so foreign ministry it is i haven't used it in a while it's one of my favorites great barrier reef and yongle oh every time i want yongle to do really well but it looks like somebody has attacked yongle very brutally and they appear to be just in little island cities now they're at war with somebody that war has not gone well for them but look bit of trading sometimes the trading is all a growing empire needs like mine so young lady you have nighter nobody has nighter why does nobody have nighter boring oh he wants to be my friend though cool that was minus 50 and i just said please be my friend and he just accepted so 
Brilliant. Time to do some upgrading, I think. Let's go for a cavalry. Let's go for a cuirassar. And let's go for something next turn. Our knight just got pillaged by a flood, by the way. That's very unfortunate. So we have no knight supply coming in at the moment. It is something we want to rectify as soon as we can. But we will press on for now. In the meantime, though, we have our very silly canal city it will be ready soon mass production let's go cartography square rigging industrialization my army's strong enough in terms of technology just enjoy it for what it is at the moment saying that though we've got a nice siege tower that i can bring in that means i can simultaneously attack the walls and break them down at the same time which i i like a cad doing the work and also the siege tower at the same time very nice indeed. Still doing damage to this city, which is good. And yeah, I think a line of entry attack. Bam. Next turn, we should take that city. Here's hoping. Oh, I just lost a cavalry unit. Oh, sometimes I think I do. I do attack a bit quick and that could be one of those occasions, but never mind. Let's do that attack quickly and we'll attack and kill that crossbow. Beautiful. This knight can actually attack after the line inventory so the wall can do the damage to it. We can go one attack, two attacks like that. Nine population city taken and hopefully loyal. 3.8. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. That is a small victory. What else does a growing empire need? I think industrial zones. Should we get a few of these? Ugh, no, I, I, I'm not building near my campuses. I wish we could turn that off as a, as a career-based thing. I don't, don't want to do it. It makes them terrible. Build an industrial zone there instead. Then we'll get the aqueduct hooked up. Got an encampment. I think we don't need any more army right now. We've only got six turns worth of the World Congress left. I've done like a really good job at making sure that we're using as much of it as as we can but I'm not going to get a huge amount more so we won't worry about it there's the last player by the way how are they doing on score slightly worse than me but very similar Theodora Byzantium did you get yourself a religion yet nope well the fact that I've just discovered them in China's city is a good start Protestantism Egypt got a religion Byzantium what are you doing why have you not got a religion yet dear oh dear dear oh dear there we go nice fixed it's been reversed good now Theodora do you want to do some trading oh no Egypt wants to do the trading now oh fair play but Theodora have you got any luxuries for me no but again people want to trade I'm now not unhappy anymore that's wonderful how are we stacking up in comparison to the AI I have 11 cities Congo 7 Egypt 11 Japan 11 Yongle 5 Theodora 14 oh yes Byzantium, I like it. It was my favourite game when Byzantium just got up and Byzantiumed everywhere. It was incredible. Trebuchet hits. And then I've got Huacha. These man at arms are just sort of standing around and not really doing a huge amount at the moment. Maybe I'll just protect them a little bit. But yeah, the city walls are beginning to come down now. Oh yeah, look at this. My cavalry and Curaçao attacks. Perfect. 13 population. That'll be a huge city to flip to me, actually. Looking forward to seeing that one flip in my favor. Perfect. And with that trebuchet, I think I'm actually done making units now, which I, I find incredible as a concept, but we'll have to just take it for now. No, 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 no. Almost. Almost was tempted there. That was uh, almost a big mistake. Don't put your districts next to your campuses, Ursa. Like rule number one and two and three and four and five. It's every rule, every single rule you could ever have. Oh, that's right. I have a bunch of faith, don't I? That would be useful to use. Okay, let's just sort my government out temporarily. Chivalry, retinues, professional army. Don't need any of that stuff now. Praetorium, don't need that either. We're, we're doing great. Diplomatic League comes back in. It's my favorite card. It should always be in your government all the time. Craftsman is looking brilliant as well. I'm going to do raid in order to make my attacks a little bit better. Let's put serfdom back in. And hey presto, I can now purchase some brilliant builds. Have I stolen the pyramids yet? I haven't. I'm gonna wait one turn. I'll steal this city. I'll take the pyramids. Oh, Byzantium, don't give me that face. Look at that face. That face is the perfect elderly relative in your family that doesn't like you face, don't you think? Not that I would know what that face looks like. Not at all. But let's see, if we can steal the pyramids this turn, me thinks, me, Mr. Me thinks, I can, I can then get some six charge builders. Perfect. Right, we'll keep that city glorious. 
Let's get some more night up. Builder, done. Builder, done. Excellent. So, the charge continues through the horizon and on to the next target. This is a renaissance wall. This siege tower would be useless, but it's actually quite useful down here. So maybe I'll bring it in this direction instead. Wonderful. Now I'm going to use my cavalry just to pin this man at arms and stop it from being able to move in front. Don't want reinforcements. No, no, no. That would be a terrible, terrible idea. Where else needs a ridiculous amount of builder charges? I think quite a few cities. We're going to pop one in my northern territory and... Oh, there's hardly any improved towers in this city either. Great. It's actually quite a good use of faith. And I've been taking my faith from Laventa mostly. Just my cavalry is going around pillaging. It's been wonderful. In fact, now my Curacao can join in on the action in Cahokia. The world is round. Who would have thought? In Brussels. I found Brussels. Okie dokie. There you go. This city is now siege. 15 population. If I can seize this one, I think we're going to be incredibly permanently happy for some time. So we'll just move Move all of my units round. Where's my great general? Forward you come. Let's start attacking this city. It's got renaissance walls. It's very strong. We're gonna have to do our best at pillaging all of the districts here. It's a big, big job, but someone's got to do it. We'll take that job on. Don't you worry. In the meantime, my watches are basically just shredding any reinforcements from being able to arrive. And I'm filling up the battlefield with as many units as I can to stop the Congo knowing what to do. Like we are, we are causing AI confusion quite deliberately by just charging my units around left right and center nighter source number two complete and if i'm lucky i can get nighter number three source complete two per turn all the way up to six per turn that's a huge difference and we love to see it cavalry cross the road we're gonna go to the line of the tree to that move yeah perfect right now we can start to attack oh the line of the tree is gonna need a lot of help a lot of help luckily i have a single trebuchet <laughs> <laughs> we might need more than that, but never mind. It's the principle. It's the principle behind what we're doing, which is the most important thing. World Congress time! I have no favour in this whatsoever. So, Egypt has a religion, Japan has a religion. I'm going to vote up on Japan's religion, Buddhism, just because I think it's probably going to win. And last time, option A on religious was taken so we will pick that just in case we can take a sneaky sneaky point yeah look at that two more points i'm winning the score victory now diplomacy i am one point off the lead religion well we have a different religion but i think we're gonna have to take japan out as a priority on the other continent because they have by far the greatest chance of winning this game at the moment egypt's on 41 techs i'm on 35 japan's on 29 yes yeah, so i'm six ahead of the ai and egypt is six ahead of me it's uh slightly worrying but what can you do? Oh, we just met Geneva, so that's two science city-states now. Excellent. But we will keep an eye out for any extra envoys we can pick up. I would like probably, yeah, both science city-states. And if I can pick up Kilwa as well, that's obviously 15% extra science in my empire, which would give me a huge benefit. I just fixed that. I just fixed that. Come on. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Luckily, luckily, I still have my builder from when I literally last fixed that. Oh, I have to build a dam, aren't I? It's only six turns, but still it's the principle. Yeah, Kilwa is available in for 11 turns. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to save some gold up. If I can get a coal power plant in Seoul, then I think we can do some Kilwa building. Oh, especially because saving gold up, I just noticed that I can now levy for half the price. Singapore has at least two men at arms. That's actually quite handy. I'll borrow those. So I'm not going to save gold at all. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is spend all my gold recklessly. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure we'll pillage more, maybe, who knows. Trebuchet 1, fires, trebuchet 2, fires, Huacha 1, fires. We are doing no damage to the city whatsoever, but the fact that it's sieged makes this thankfully a limited run a limited run i should have oh i should have made that pillage before making all those attacks but never mind we are getting there we are getting there it's the wall strength is the one i'm worried about and that's at half now so i think we're just about to turn a corner with that which is great this is one of my favorite parts of any game i must say when you feel like you've been really fighting against something for some time and then it starts to wind in your favor just slowly there's connoisseur and there's grants now grants just gives me a lot more great people points it means i should start getting things like merch merchants and engineers that'll be lovely i think i had to get a merchant for akkad and chingeti didn't i yeah so 
you know what? I'm actually going to quickly just get myself two envoys with Fuga. And actually, I just got myself three envoys just by picking them up in the first place. So that's really good. Fun little turn, this one. So Jacob Fuga. I don't have any commercial hubs right now, but I will do soon, I believe. Am I going to steal one? I thought I might steal one. No, I'm not going to at the moment. But Muscat's got one. Kahokia's got one. Both of those are definitely options. But as soon as I pop Fuga, I can give myself a, an envoy at Geneva, or I could get pick, I could pick up Brussels, I could pick up Chinggetti. There's a lot of options for me. A CAD hasn't upgraded its units yet. Oh, I really want actual line inventory, but Mahanja Dairo has. Again, every time you do it, a little bit more era score. It's just the little, little accumulations of stuff that you don't really notice at the time. But attack, attack. Oh, they attacked with their unit within the city. That was a big mistake. You've lowered your city strength quite a lot doing that that's an attack can my nope that's not going to do it but this attack will and then hopefully my cavalry perfect professional sports has been done can i build coliseum in the city i will be able to soon i reckon yeah definitely will oh perfect man well, this is a this is a city to come back to you later perfect i tell you what watch is down this right hand side of the promotion path they're so handy stick them in a district with incendiaries and they're attacking like siege equipment and you've got emplacement that makes them really difficult to kill as well very very handy ursa Ursa approves. Lovely. Actually, I can make this one an urban specialist as well. Oh, that's going to be a good line inventory. I must say, any game where you go Warlord's Throne, I'm always so out of sorts. I love seeing the three builder appear every time you put a city down. So when you don't see it, it's like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Luckily, I have monumentality, so I can still get six charge builders. Oh, it's brilliant. I've, I'm just having to be very careful, actually, which cities put my Sewan districts down. That's weird. I'm not actually taking taking a minus penalty for being next to the AI's district. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I've, I've thought it was all districts, not even, yeah. Oh, well, there you go, I'm gonna take it. Make peace. No, I don't think so. Look at that, six cities seeded. <laughs> they still have another five. We're going, we're still going, I'm, I'm not stopping. If you have the advantage in Civ, you need to press it. Like, just keep going at all times. Also, how different one era is to another? I am flying through. I only need 14 era score in 16 turns now. What was my problem before? It's, it's easy. Am I a mad man for seeing canals in every city that I make? I don't think so. I think it's a form of enlightenment. Oh yes, looking forward to this. I think I've actually got the armory in Saul already, so we're going to be very soon into steam power. Am I going to beeline steam power just for railroads? You better believe it. What else are you going to be doing in a game? That's what I ask you. Do I want to keep the alliance with Egypt? Yes, I absolutely do. I'm not trading with them, and I believe Oh no, they're trading with me. Oh no, we're same secret society. Ah, okay, so we will go to alliance level two. That means Egypt is pretty much the last boss for me. Attacking her would trigger an emergency, but 268 science per turn. Whoa, yeah, she's six techs, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding on to her, but yeah, she's going to be probably a nuke target, like, or, or an air force target. Everyone else, I think I can make a decent landing at. Although saying that, Tokugawa. 932 military strength. Oh, you know what? This is going to be a tricky landing. I don't know where I'm going to go. Maybe I'm going to have to go and navally invade Byzantium instead. They're probably the easier target. And Yongle? It's a lot of naval cities here. Yeah. Hmm. Don't know. It's got me thinking. It's got me thinking and I'm not sure, not sure what we're going to do. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I just... I just... I just fixed it all. Oh, that's a lot of population I just lost there. Oh, all right. All right. Point taken. Point taken. We should get Liang there. How many times can I say we should get Liang there before I build them? <laughs> Oh, no. Actually, one of the genuine best bits about attacking Congo is that she hadn't put a single campus down. So I've got three reign to put these pretty much wherever I need to get the bonuses, which is just brilliant. Now, I've got Diplomatic League in. I'm just going to pop one into Geneva. That'll give me another science for every library. That's just a nice little chunk. We'll have a look. I mean, Kahokia would be good. Those mounds, they can give up to two amenities per city once you get natural history. So that's a really good way of making things happy. I think for now, like, hold on, I could get Vatican, which would spread a religion. I could get Chinguetti to give me faith, but I've only got one trade route, not a priority right now. Brussels? No. Oh, I'll put it on Geneva, actually, and then I can get another science, two science in every university. Oh, there we go. One, four, six. Yeah, that was worth about 15 science getting them on board. Love it. 
You love to see it. Line infantry, take over the city. Bam. Lovely stuff. Bit of a gamble this one, but I'm actually going to buy 40 Diplo favor and then propose the aid request. I don't normally do this when I'm at war with the world because it tends not to go through. But I do have two allies and they may decide to join in with it. And if they do, it's three money. Take it. Take the three money. Always take the three money. What's this? Trading for, yeah, one book for two and including a better book. Yes, young leg. Thank you. I'm earning lots of nighter per turn now. Lots and lots of nighter. I can afford to trade some of it away. They're really desperate for a peace deal now, and I can't blame them. The, the rest of the cities are a little bit tragic. I won't lie. I can't tell if I want them or not. But I mean, the problem is, I mean, these cities, actually, they're going to lose to loyalty anyway. Maybe I should do it. I'm going to vote for the aid request myself. Hopefully it goes through. Oh, no, it didn't. No one, everyone else voted against it. Oh, ho, ho. what a waste. What a waste of gold. Oh, dear. Well, if you're all going to be like that, then, you know, maybe I'll be a horrible warmonger. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, that's actually a mine on top of the coal. I love it when that happens. That's like my favorite thing. This less so. Coal on top of lumber mill. Always the case. Stop it. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratis, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amir EC, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Guberman, Clint Hennes, Thank you all for your support. It's amazing. See you all next time. Goodbye.